Hi guys and welcome back to my nodal series. Alright, so in today's video we are going to be discussing the north node within the sign of Cancer, meaning that you automatically have your south node in the sign of Capricorn. Alright, so we talked about the north node in Capricorn, therefore south node in Cancer, but we're going the opposite way here with north node in Cancer, south node in Capricorn. First and foremost, if you would like to know more information about the notes within astrology, then please be sure to check out my introduction video. And I would also like to highlight here that the nodes are strongly connected with karma and past lives. And for the purpose of the series, I will be addressing them as so. I'm also going to be explaining these placements rather directly, but please don't take everything I say as absolute truth or set in stone. And if you don't believe in past lives, then just try to look at the south node as your younger years and then the north node as you grow older. However, if you are interested to know more about karma, then I've made a video about karma as well. So I'll put a link to that video somewhere. All right, north node in Cancer, let's do this. We're gonna start off by looking at your south node in the sign of Capricorn. So where are you coming from? First thing to be aware of north node in Cancer is that you spend your past life in highly structured places where you participated in strict community focused, possibly religious surroundings. It seems that you weren't so much about family interactions, but rather you were more concerned with achieving positions of public authority and social prominence and prestige. See, in a past life, you might have trained yourself to repress your emotions as well as your instincts, sexual urges and enjoyment of the physical senses. In fact, it was the withholding or the removal of the joys of being human that was actually rewarded with promotion and respect. It was abstinence and discipline which were encouraged greatly as you actively practiced restraining yourself from indulging in something in a past life. And naturally, due to these reasons, in this incarnation, you seem to have a wall built around you between yourself and others. Yes, North Node in Cancer, it seems that in this life, you postpone the pleasures of life because all you focus on is the goal. You are someone who knows how to hustle, how to achieve, how to accomplish, and how to receive the recognition of the process. In a past life, you might have been a politician, a business person, the boss, the authority figure, the CEO. And because you functioned as a boss, you managed others and took responsibility for behaving in a way that embodied social correctness. Yes, it was you who stood firm in how you came across to the public and you were respected by the public as you tended to act from a motive of seeking respect from others. Now you possess a feeling of righteousness to achieve your goals, right? And you do not, you do not allow yourself to be distracted by human temptations. So much so to the point that this goal is never ending. This endless quest which arises from your subconscious as you desire to achieve great spiritual heights. But what you must realize about this goal is that this goal is simply unappeasable. It's insatiable to the point that you make absolutely no time for your relationships. You make no time for fun. No time for really living and enjoying the pleasures that life has to offer. For the sake of reaching an important goal, you will sacrifice without complaint. Indeed, North Node in Cancer, you possess a very natural business sense and work ethic. And you can certainly be led to becoming excessively focused on your goals and accomplishments and status and purpose that you make no time for anything else. This is because in a previous life, you were trained. You were trained to suppress your emotional responses to life in order to remain focused on the higher purpose you are serving. 
you make tremendous personal sacrifices and you stand for principles you believe in at the expense of your own personal needs. But yet, but yet, it seems that in this life, you don't really get respect for these things, do ya? So accustomed to being in authority in a past life, yet in this life, no one follows your lead or directions. All whilst you can't seem to figure out why. Why will these people not take me seriously? Why will they not respect my principles? And this right here, this right here, makes your heart become harder and harder. All whilst those walls, North Node and Cancer, become higher and higher. But what you must understand is that your heart longs to connect with the rest of mankind. You yearn to belong and experience a sense of family with those that you love, but yet you feel awkward about the whole process. And this sense of awkwardness is happening because you're not sure of how to let your feelings out naturally. It all feels very robotic, just so structured. Emotions structured? What? How does one structure how they feel? And therefore, you might feel ashamed of letting your feelings out because you're not sure of how to do it. So disciplined in a past life that in this life, it just doesn't sit well with you. And it's these things that result in you being insensitive towards others. And it's this insensitive behavior that is a product of your ingrained insensitivity to your own feelings. I'm here to tell you, North Node and Cancer, that in this life, repressing your feelings in the name of a higher purpose is opposite the direction that your soul needs for fulfillment and completion. See, what you really want, what you really want is to be in absolute control of every area of your life all the time. You have this prodigious need to think that you have the power to succeed, but in order to achieve this success, it's about staying in touch with how you feel. It's about staying in touch with your insecurities and sharing the truth about these things with yourself and with others. And in order for you to come to these realizations, you must become aware of your need for control. Because the truth of the matter is, is that you can never control situations in a way that makes you feel safe enough to be yourself. Meaning, that you will never have enough authority to feel like it's safe enough to be vulnerable. And at some point, it will be about you making it very clear to others that in fact, you possess feelings of insecurity. You possess feelings of inadequacy. You fear rejection and you fear being abandoned. And the powerful thing is, is that once you let others see who you truly are, you gain total safety. Because by you opening up about how you feel, you are then taking charge of yourself on a much deeper level. Yes, North Node in Cancer, being vulnerable seems to be where your true power lies in this life. In fact, showing vulnerability can improve your own sense of self-worth. And this is because when you open up about your vulnerabilities, you learn that other people, they feel the same things. They feel the same way, right? I mean, we all go through these things in life, right? And so when you have the confirmation that your needs are valid, you can receive the necessary support and learn how to deal with them. Also, by having someone to laugh with, to cry with, or to vent to, it supports you emotionally. And it's this emotional support that helps you become inwardly aware that you are not alone. And this in turn makes you stronger. As other people share your joy, share your sorrow, and they listen to your frustrations, it increases your joy and lessens your pain. 
together. You may even engage in problem solving about the frustrations because of their support. Furthermore, in a past life, respect may have been a valid indication for you. But because you played the role of the boss, because you held a position of authority, you might have isolated yourself. So much responsibility, but just so little personal nurturing being performed. Therefore, you need to pay more attention to organizing your life in a way that meets your personal needs, as well as your long range goals. Going after the recognition, North Node Cancer, I hate to break it to you, it just isn't going to cut it in this life. And this is because the recognition, it will be there. Whether what you're going for is for your family or for the world, it's still going to be there. So it's not about seeking it or looking for it directly. In fact, <laughs> the minute you go looking for it, you fall off track. Yes, North Node of Cancer, you are masters when it comes to accomplishing, but if your motive for accomplishment is to gain the respect of others, you will never be happy with what you obtain because you never gain enough to really feel satisfied and fulfilled. And so in this life, North Node in Cancer, you are leaving behind tendencies of needing to control everything and everyone, doing things to gain respect or admiration from others, feeling responsible for everything, thinking things have to be difficult in order to be important, hiding your feelings and fears in intimate relationships, and taking care of other people's feelings whilst neglecting your own feelings. Okay, so with all of this information in mind, where are you headed in this life as we explain your North Node in Cancer? And also, what are some steps that you can put in place in order to head in this direction? The first step, North Node in Cancer, comes from learning to give respect rather than demand it. You see, in this life, when success in any area comes to you easily, you might tend to become ego-centered and get carried away with your own importance. You might become careless as you unwittingly push away the very reward that you were so eager to obtain. Therefore, it's about approaching success with a humble appreciation and to be thankful and grateful for that which you have achieved, of course. And you must also learn to honor the time that is required to form something solid. So whether that be a new relationship, a new job, a new opportunity, a new home, whatever it is, appreciate and accept the process and treat the initial stages with tender awareness. By you slowing down, you can become more aware of the correct way to build on relationships and experiences, resulting in you being able to approach others with a new attitude. North Node and Cancer, inside of you, there is a deep yearning to feel safe, supported and nourished. And by you approaching others with a fresh attitude out of care and empathy, you will find a magical, immutable, mutual, not mutable astrology, mutual understanding between you and the other. Whilst okay, in a past life, it was your responsibility to see that the business was successful and others depended on your ability to reach the goal to ensure everyone's survival. But now, now you must take the time to understand the other person's situation and forge an emotional connection. You might even delegate certain tasks to others without taking the time to explain the importance of everyone's role. But truly, it's about you now taking the time to show interest in that person in which you are delegating the task to. Understanding that others are helping you and that they shouldn't be treated for how useful they are. It's about putting yourself into the other person's shoes and treating them with sensitivity in the way that you would like to be treated. 
In fact, you might see that another person's problems are interfering with them getting the job done and so you'll overlook it and judge them for acting in such a way. But it's this attitude of wanting them to just get on with everything. It just seems with this approach that you're very uncaring towards others and this makes it very difficult for others to relate to you. And this is not something that you want, remember. This is not what you want. It might even get to a stage where others don't want to be themselves around you because they never know when they're gonna trigger something within you. Where you just blow up in their faces due to you not knowing how to handle situations with others. Others might even feel as though they're walking on eggshells when you're around. This actually reminds me of my ex-boyfriend and he would say this to me. Hannah, I feel like I'm always having to walk on eggshells around you. Yeah, to be fair, he wasn't wrong. <laughs> you're just so sensitive, Hannah, you're just so sensitive. <sighs> yeah, my north node is in the sign of Capricorn in my fourth house, so fourth house ruled by Cancer, naturally. Therefore, north node in Cancer. It's about learning how to relate to other people's feelings in a new way. Recognizing and acknowledging the emotional upsets of others in a caring way. And by doing so, you can truly help with the overall situation. And in turn, you can then guide and help the other person perform the task at hand. It just seems here that you are either one way or the other, where you're just completely hypersensitive or insensitive entirely. But if you can become more aware of your emotional waves, if you can become more conscious of the emotional rapport with others on a more consistent level, you will be less likely to act out or speak in a way that hurts other people's feelings, ultimately resulting in your feelings getting hurt as well. Just know, North Node in Cancer, that in this life, you don't have to go at it alone because your highest goal in this lifetime is to figure out a way to regain with your connectedness. And by getting to know others that you work with, this will actually strengthen your business tremendously. Yes, you can acknowledge other people's value and let them know how good of a job they are doing. And by doing so, you will feel other people's positive energy towards you as well. But it's about allowing other people the opportunity to be responsible and to possibly be in management positions themselves. And it's about developing sensitivity to other people's feelings rather than sticking to this my way or the highway approach, which you have a tendency to do. You might even resist taking suggestions from anyone else because you think or you may think that you know everything about everything and therefore there is nothing else for you to possibly learn. Therefore, it would be within your best interest, North Node in Cancer, to remember that no one person sees all the possibilities and that life can be so much easier if you seek other inputs before taking action. Overall, North Node in Cancer, in this life, it's about you acknowledging your insecurities, which in turn will provide you with a solid and stable base from which you can create success in the material, material world. This is due to the fact that you will no longer be fighting and coming up against yourself, all whilst you try to hide and suppress your feelings. And this will result in you feeling calmer, providing you with inner certainty from which you can accomplish your goals. And by you accepting your own emotions, you will develop an awareness of other people's feelings as well. It's about building your own foundation and security, staying centered in your own feelings, remaining humble, and accepting other people's moods without judgment. And as long as you remain aware and supportive of other people, you will gain the support you require in this life. 
Okay guys, so that concludes my video on the North Node in Cancer. If you do happen to have your North Node in the sign of Cancer, I would like to hear from you. Let us know which house your North Node in Cancer is in. I hope that you're able to benefit from this video. And yeah, that is me. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you would like to see more videos from myself, then go right ahead and click the subscribe button. And I will be back with another video very very soon.